These beans are coming along beautifully. So is the combustion engine. On the last update of this drive coil, I was up to four turns of wire, equaling about six ohms. I've taken this coil up to 10 turns, down to 5.2 ohms, series wound. And last efficiency update, I was getting approximately 200 grams of force for every one watt input. Uh, however, we've improved that significantly and we're up to 590 grams per one watt input. Um, it's in fact so good <coughs> that I've now ceased understanding why it is so good. Uh, my initial presumption walking into this experiment would be twice the magnetic force and that means a potential of twice the energy. And I was very happy with 190% makes sense. Um, considering my gaps and tolerances are extremely tight and the magnetic causing full saturation after having run 40 odd experiments. So I thought I'd gleaned everything I could out of this. Um, but then I came into the territory of just gratuitously adding more wire. Um, and that's worked remarkably well. Um, the efficiency is skyrocketed again. So yeah, we're, up, we're just under 600% efficient. So, with my pendulum, it is unnecessary, once it's fully loaded with some heavy weight, the corresponding speed that this is going to move back and forwards when the linkages are attached, is going to be somewhere around one meter per second. Um, and at the kind of power input I'm talking about, which is something in the vicinity of 100 watts, um, I'm getting one meter per second at a couple of watts. So if I juice the power up to 100 watts, I'm going to be getting quite a few meters per second, which means due to the leverage angle, this is going to be moving quite slowly, and some of that potential energy is going to be wasted. So. What I have here is a very long five centimeter thick steel bar and I'm going to see how long I can increase this so I can improve the leverage angle, move it upwards and have greater power coming through. In theory it should work really well. However, the only concern is how much efficiency do you lose and I know you lose quite a bit by moving the magnets further apart. So yeah, I'm trying to think of another factor to test to get the perfect linear motor. Um, Someone of a claim I've already made. Um, but yeah, there is one question left unanswered. I'm going to answer that. So, I'll show you how the output stage of this uh, engine is working. We've got that much figured out. So yeah, any more to come.